we can go back to 1996, 1997, and, you know, OK, you were young then, but it was, it was the look of sleaze that did the Conservative Party so much harm. Do you think, do you really believe that Nadim Zahawi can stay on as party chairman when over Greens Hill he clearly hasn't told the truth? Oh, look, I think um, being held to the highest standard is really important in public office. I think clearly, um, you know, uh, Nadim uh, made a mistake one way or another. I don't know enough of the detail behind the scenes to say he should stay or go or whatever. I, I'm perfectly willing to um, give what I think is a good colleague the benefit of the doubt until proven otherwise. But um, to be honest, uh, for most uh, of my constituents and most of us in Parliament getting on with our actual jobs, it's not been the front and centre of attention. We've got things to do. Oh, no, you've got a lot to do. I don't doubt that for one moment. But, you know, if you're running a company and there's a problem over a senior member of staff, I would suggest what you do is you as the boss call people into the room, you ask for testimony, you make a decision, you act. What Rishi Sunak has done here, he's palmed this off to the ethics advisor, which means this row drags on for week after week, making it, Ben Bradley, harder for you to do your job as an MP. Well, nobody likes it as an MP, clearly, when all of this dominates the newspapers, um, not least because, as I say, it's far from the most important thing going on in the country uh, at right now. Everyone would love um, for that not to be the case and for us to talk about all the many, many issues affecting our constituents. But um, as ever, and uh, perhaps it, it speaks to a, a wider challenge across government, um, there's always an independent new body to push something off to, isn't there, um, uh, in all sorts of public services and other challenges as well as this.